in the mere possession of money. It lies in the joy of achievement, in the thrill of creative effort. What is a creative person? What does that even mean? We will do this, yes, we will be a part of that creative movement. Wait, wait, wait. First, a little backstory. When I was a kid, I fell in love with movies and acting, and really just couldn't get enough of either. I did all kinds of plays and musicals and would spend hours watching director commentaries and film riot YouTube tutorials, and it was fantastic. And in my teenage years, through all the ups and downs, I managed to do a lot of what I would consider to be creative. One of the biggest being making a movie with my friends. It was absolutely ridiculous, but I poured my heart and soul into that movie, and it's one of my fondest creative memories, for sure. All right, okay, very nostalgic, but we live here in the real world with emails, taxes, and Zoom meetings. Where is the creativity here? And some might come along and say, well, you know, there's creativity to achieve those things as well. And I would agree, but it's just not quite the same. Oh. So, how do I know what being creative means to me? Well, I think one of the key signs is sustained passion. If you keep coming back to the same thing over and over and over again, and you're like, wow, I really like this thing. And through all the ups and downs, you will find time to do that thing, and you keep coming back to it over the many years. I think that's a pretty good sign. Also finding energy from it like you would in an energy boost or coffee. Oh, I'm gonna regret that. Blocks. They're the worst. I once heard Is Harris say this. I'm gonna quit feeling like I need to know something completely before I even start. And I can tell you I've fallen into that trap many times. Let's talk about this a little bit. I like to start from obsession to perfection. Now, this can get a little murky and confusing, but I'm gonna to speak to this from a filmmaker perspective, but I think this in general applies to everything. The good is when you're 45 minutes into a Philip Bloom camera review movie or 20 minutes into Gerald Undone explaining how the S-Log3 gamma curve works. This is what I like to think of as fascination obsession and can be incredible food for inspiration. I can't tell you how many times I've gone down these rabbit holes. And instead of feeling drained afterward, I actually feel empowered by the knowledge and excited to just get out there and create something. Obsessive perfection. Now I'm sure we're all familiar with this one, but it can be an incredible distraction and even a crutch to prevent yourself from actually doing the creative thing. I can't tell you how many times I've been like, oh, I'll just adjust this little audio thing. And then five hours later, I'm like trying to be a master audio technician and I'm not even sure if anything has actually changed. This is all understandable. After all, you're trying to create the best possible thing you can. You're passionate about it. You really care. And to say that all these little things don't really matter at all would be wrong. But it's important to not let those distractions get in the way of your ultimate goal, which is to create. Execution. Just do it. Create something. The best time to start is now. Well, these are all valid points. I think they can undercut the difficulty and discipline it takes to be creative. There is nothing scarier than the blank page or the empty canvas. It's not an effortless process. It can be grueling and painful at times. Creativity is like a muscle. 
you've got to be dedicated to working it out in order to get stronger. I think a big help with this is deadlines and constraints. Creativity doesn't happen in a vacuum. The world is full of forces that are affecting it, like friends, family, work. Life in general is full of constant distractions, and making the time and space to be creative is going to be key. Now, something that I think helps with that is the concept of deadlines. We have them in work and school, the Zoom meeting. There's an expectation, and I think the same should go for creativity. If we relegate creativity to when we have time or it feels right, it's most likely going to get put by the wayside. There are so many other quote-unquote more important things to do in life. Plus, creativity is difficult and it's easy to get sidetracked onto something else. In fact, in this project, I spent months since the initial inspiration dodging creative discipline and failing on all of these points. I've got a lot to learn. All right, here's the deal, guys. It's probably been like four months since that last clip was recorded. I currently have a day and a half to finish this whole video or skip it. And I think this is a great example of doing the very thing I shouldn't have done, but I think I'm gonna do it. I'm excited. It's not gonna be perfect. It's not gonna have all the things that I dreamt of, but I'm gonna finish it. And in doing so, follow some of the, at least the things that I have said in the video are good to do. So we'll see about that. Whew, man, it's humid. Mm. 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 Oh dear, we're spilling. Too much spillage. Okay, see you on the other side. So what then does it mean to be a creative person? I don't believe it takes a particular form, but rather it's a burning desire to say something, to build something and then the dogged persistence of trying over and over again through failure and success to just grasp a hint of what we imagined. And in that hint, seeing the endless possibilities that exist for what being a creative person means to you. What do I think it means to be a creative person? Being a creative person for me, to be a creative person. I've heard a lot of people say that to be a creative person means that you create anything. It doesn't mean that you're, you're making money off of it. It just means that you're creating because you want to do it, because it makes you happy, because you have thoughts you want to express, because you have, um, you, you want to show people something and that's why you create that's what it means that's what some people say it means to be creative taking all the opportunities i can in life to um use my imagination and uh, my um uh creative skill sets to be um to make art for others i think that creativity is inherently a part of expression and so i think that creativity comes from uh, someone being self-connected. So um, being in tune with how you feel and then um, having some form of reaction and that's what I think is cool about creativity which I think is usually boxed in. I think that creativity is much more open than most people think because I think that your reaction to your personal connection can come out in so many ways. So building, painting, dancing, any sort of reaction to your connection with how you feel, I think, incites um, creativity. Go with it and trust it as an idea. I think it's really easy to uh, blow off a lot of things and a lot of ideas and um, 
concepts that you come up with as a as a creator as an artist um and it's easy to dismiss them as like oh well that's dumb why should i ever why should i get involved in that why should i like look into that that's a stupid idea i think it's uh, very like gratifying to be creative and to um to be able to share uh what we create with other people in the work that i do creativity to me, one of the reasons it's so important is it allows you to have imagination. And the great importance of imagination is being able to imagine your life being better. And since some of the work I do is to target the treatment of depression, one of the hallmark features of depression is not being able to imagine yourself being well. And so if you possess a creative trait, you're more resilient and less likely to become depressed because you simply can imagine your life being better. I think the the universe is full of great things and also full of a lot of stressors. And we walk around every single day and experience the stressors, but in many ways the stressors can also be the beautiful things at the same time. Something like love is a great example where it's like, very frustrating and exerts a lot of stress on you but still it has a lot of value being a creative person is just one of the ways that that we get to manage those stressors and there are lots of other ones like working out is one of them and like i think teaching like any career that you're really passionate about i think that works out a lot of people's stressors but being creative and being an artist i think is to me unique because that's the one that most incorporates the beauty in life too so for everybody, being a creative person means you are working through your own experiences, your own stressors, whatever it may be. And the product that you create is something that is beautiful and probably could or does help other people alleviate their stress, live a better life, remember what's nice about being human, that sort of thing. That's what all the best art does. But the artist was just doing it probably for them. That was a really long answer. <laughs>